Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can block calls from a specific number on your iPhone, Android, or really any phone that you have as long as you are a Verizon customer. Now in order to do this you need to have access to your account on the Verizon website. Once you've got that, it's really easy to do, so I hope this tutorial helps and enjoy. As I stated earlier, in order to block numbers on your Verizon Wireless account, you need to have access to your account online at verizonwireless.com. If you haven't set that up yet, go ahead and visit verizonwireless.com and it will walk you through setting up an online account. Once you do have access, however, and you log in, this is what the initial screen is going to look like. Now, I'm going to walk you through using screenshots so I could blur out some of my own personal data, but this should look almost exactly the same as it does to you when you log in online. So the first thing you want to do when you're at this home screen is you'll notice that you've got some links over here to the left under account management. Go ahead and click on see more options. When you do that, the list will drop down and you will then have an option that says block calls and messages. Go ahead and click on that. When you do that, you're going to be taken to the screen and this is where Verizon tells you that you can block calls and messages they could probably use an S there. That's a typo on Verizon's site. That's kind of funny. Uh, from up to five phone numbers at no charge. So you can go ahead and enter the phone number that you want to block in here, one, two, three, four, five, and go ahead and hit submit. You notice I entered a number in there as an example. Now this is the easiest way to do it. Again, you have to be a Verizon customer to do this. If you are a customer with another service like AT&T, you should be able to do this in a similar way, although you will have to use AT&T's website. Other than using a jailbreak for your iPhone, there is no other way to do this. Uh, so you have to go through the carrier unless you have a jailbroken iPhone. So I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.